What we have here today is the replacement of a uh, battery. This happens to be in a uh, 2012 Escape. Uh, the battery is still good. Uh, it's 12.6 uh, volts. Uh, however, I'm going to replace it as a precautionary measure since uh, I live in the north and uh, it's going to get pretty cold here. I'm, uh, it's uh, about seven years old and I want to make sure that it uh, starts in the winter. What I'm going to do here today is uh, replace the battery. It is The uh, direct replacement is uh, code 96R and I'm going to try to uh, fit a cheaper Walmart battery in there. Uh, that is a 24F. First what we'll do is uh, take and uh, remove the uh, battery clamp. The negative first. And uh, that'll be an 8 millimeter or 5 sixteenths. We'll do. Then we'll uh, do the positive. Now that uh, the uh, battery terminals are removed, we'll go ahead and uh, take a 10 millimeter and uh, take this uh, hold down clamp off. Happens to be a J hook here. And uh, there are two different positions on the battery box. And uh, that was on the lower one for this battery. We're going to move it to the upper one so it's long enough. The 24F battery is a bit wider than what the battery box is. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, take and remove these uh, spacer tabs here so it fits in. To remove those tabs I'm going to, need to uh, take and uh, heat up a putty knife and then just uh, touch it into the plastic and melt them away. Now that the uh, battery box has been enlarged, I'll go ahead and uh, install the battery. Uh, it will uh, clean the terminals off and uh, clean off the uh, cable ends. And then I will uh, connect the battery, positive first, and then the negative, along with the battery hold down clamp. If you decide to uh, put a 24F series battery in, you will find that the uh, ground cable here is not uh, long enough with the uh, uh, extra gr uh, grounding strap. So you'll have to remove that. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, put a bolt on there with a collar and uh, make it a little taller so it'll fit. And uh, then I'm going to put a little dielectric grease around that. The bolt size that you're going to need is uh, M6 1 by 50 millimeter. Now that that uh, cable is uh, secure down there, we'll go ahead and uh, put the battery in. It was easiest to take the battery out and uh, put it in there.
Okay, our newly installed battery is uh, just under 12 and a half volts. What I'll do is uh, start the vehicle and it should be uh, charging over 13 volts um, or a little over 14 and uh, if that's the case then our, our alternator is good.